before we start today's video, I want to let you know that the giveaway is still on. There's about 10 days left to enter to win the PS4, the boosted board, FIFA 17, or the iPad. So I'll leave that link down below, the first link in the description. Click that, enter, and you never know, you might win. But don't tell your friends to enter because I want an OG Parodian to win these prizes. Not some random Shlomo Joe. Enjoy the video. DIY Dave back with a banger today in honor of Halloween just around the corner we are making black Cheetos cheese grillers grillums one more time one more time DIY black Cheetos grilled cheese sandwiches Big shout out to Threadbanger. This is where I got the idea for the black grilled cheese. I will leave their video in the description box below. So what you're gonna need for today's DIY is a big block of cheese. You can use any cheese you want, whichever one you prefer for your grilled cheese. Right here, I just got a classic marble. One egg. You're gonna need this egg for the egg wash. Oh my gosh, you just cracked it. Place it down gently or this is gonna happen, so just we're gonna leave it down here gently. Oh Shit, okay, God. we need a new egg. You're also gonna need a knife to cut the block of cheese, but we already cut it, so yo! You're crazy. Ah, uh, she scared me. Yo, we planned that take for like 20 minutes, throwing that knife. Do not throw your knives at home. Knives scare the shit out of me. Next, you're gonna need your bread, obviously. You can't make grilled cheese sandwiches without bread. We have light rye bread. Light because I'm on a diet. If I wasn't on a diet, it would be dark rye. You see that white powder on top? I'm not sure what that is. It might be that cocaine. You're gonna need a cutting board, a cheese grater to grate your cheese, a big bag of puffy Cheetos, and the most important ingredient of all black icing color. But if you can find black food coloring, even better. Get that. Before I even start the DIY, I need the Perodian's good luck, so go ahead right now and smash that thumbs up button. You guys know the big dick. Every time I get your thumbs up, these DIYs just work no matter what. First step, we are gonna grate our cheese into this bowl. Fastest way I like to do is put your grater on like a 45 degree angle. You wanna get a good grip on it. Like, make sure you got, you're grasping it nicely. And we're just gonna grate this cheese. Okay, you know what? It's flying everywhere. We have a new technique. Making sure not to cut our fingers here. And this is what I hate the most when you grate cheese. Boom! The block of cheese breaks in half. Don't panic! This is not the end of the world because now you're just gonna grate. Whoa, whoa, whoa. One horror story I had once was I was going hard like this and my nail got cut under one of these and went Psh! And it just fell into the food. I'm not sure or it fell outside but I might have eaten a nail in my lifetime. And here's a tactic that not many people know. Once you get down to the very end of the cheese, like this, where you can't grate it anymore, just fucking eat it, you know? It's fucking delicious. Fun fact about shredded cheese, it actually comes from cow tears. So when cows are really sad and they cry, cheese falls out of their eyes. Okay, so the next step is to grab another bowl here. Grab your Cheetos, and then I'm gonna need help from my assistant here. We're gonna pour some Cheetos into this bowl. And then grab out our meat tenderizer, which I have handy right here. And then just start crushing. Crush those Cheeto Puffs. And eat one on the side too. Because you know what? Cheeto Puffs are delicious. In another pan, you're going to want to crack your egg. Make sure there's no pan? shells in it. But Make sure the egg has no shells in it because that's the last thing you want to bite into. Trust me, that's not a good time. Grab your whisk and just whisk that up. Make sure it's nicely whisked up because we're going to use this for our egg wash. Just like so. Perfect. Do not lick the whisk. I know it's tempting, but unless you want salmonella poisoning, don't do it. All right, the next step, guys, grab your black icing color. It looks like paint, and you just want to glob a nice amount in there. That's too much, that's too much. And mix that right into the cheese. It's going to look gross, but we want a black grilled cheese, so this is what you guys are going to have to do. That is looking nasty. Be careful about touching this stuff, because it does stain your fingers. Wait, hold on. If it stains my fingers black, and if I eat that... My throat is gonna turn black. Okay, so if you guys decide to do this, 
you are deciding to turn the inside of your throat black for the rest of your life, so it's it's a commitment, but I'm doing it for you guys, the Parodians. Like, look at this cheese, guys. That does not look appealing. Ew. Now we're gonna start the process of making the grilled cheese. So turn your oven on. I mean, your stove. Go over here and grab a big glob of butter. Never hold back on the butter, guys. The more butter, the better. You just wanna coat everything. So let that big glob of butter melt. All right, once the butter is like half melted like this, just evenly coat the pan. Take it off the heat, by the way. Grab your slice of bread and evenly coat both sides with the melted butter. And we're gonna do this for both slices. Sometimes when you're doing this, that's not enough. It's not gonna hit the white part, so you have to press in and then move around with it. And watch your fingers because uh, it can burn. The, the pan's hot. Drag it over here, grab our second one. And we're just gonna coat this bish up. That butter. Mm. Next step is you're gonna grab your black cheese. Oh my god, I still can't get over this. And you're gonna place it on one of the slices, okay? And then, we're just gonna, fuck, I'm touching it! That should be good. And to make sure the black cheese stays on the bread, you wanna hit it with a drum solo, so. Pop, 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 pop. Just like that. It flew everywhere. Next step, you're gonna grab the other side and close the grilled cheese up. And to seal everything in, hit it with another drum solo. This part is very important. You really want to squish it down real good because there's a lot of cheese in here and the last thing I want is a big mess. So once you have it there, you're gonna dunk it into your egg wash, which is just one egg scrambled up. Oh shit. It's okay, we're good, we're good, we're good. The bread is kind of falling apart, but we're gonna persevere, never give up. Put it over here to our Cheetos. You know what? Oh yeah. Turn her over, get the other side. Mm-mm-mm. This could be a lot prettier, but it's, it's okay. All right, once you have your grilled cheese, bring it over to the pan, which is already buttered up, so you don't need more butter. And if you hear sizzle, that means it's gonna work. Leave it on for about a minute, and then we're gonna grab it and do a classic grilled cheese flip. Yay! Ooh. Look at that, look at the Cheetos just crisping up into that golden brown texture. Doesn't that make you just want to take a big old bite into that bitch? While I'm waiting for the grilled cheese, I like to come over here to the Cheeto dusting that I didn't use and just reward myself with a little snack because these DIYs are tough. Let's see the black cheese inside here. Oh dear. Oh my god. Ew! That's nasty. Who in their right mind would... Ah! Who would want to take a bite of this? It looks like tar, but I know in my head it's just cheese, so I really want to just take a bite of this. <sighs> Should I do it? The inside of my throat's gonna turn black. You guys don't care? I should just take a bite? Fuck. This is for you guys. Black, grilled cheese, Cheetos, grilled cheese, griller. You know what? That's looking awesome! Wait, hold on. Is my tongue black now, though? Is it? Oh, shit! No, no, no! Oh, my... Oh, my teeth, too! Yo, 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 yo! I have a dentist appointment next week, man. Oh, shit! Okay, guys, so the verdict Tastes exactly like normal grilled cheese. Once it's in your mouth, you completely forget that the cheese was black, so you can eat it, but do I recommend it? No. Yeah, if you finish one of these full grilled cheeses, your poop is gonna be black as hell. But I think that was a pretty cool DIY to try, and in spirit of Halloween, you know, orange black, orange for the Cheetos, black for the black icing. It worked out. But thank you guys so much for watching. Smash that thumbs up down below if you want more DIY Dave, and until next time, I will see you guys very soon. Oh, why did I do that?